I remember one time I did a funeral and the family wanted to have the man's favorite song played. And it's probably one some of you kids may not know, but your grandparents know it. Maybe your parents. It's called I Did It My Way by the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra. Nice song, but it's kind of like, you know, I did everything my way. I didn't do it your way. I didn't do it this person's way. I go out on my own terms. I do it the way I want to do it. And it wasn't that the man was denying Christ. It's just everyone said this was his favorite song. He marched to the beat of his own drum. And I'm like, mm, actually, he didn't. Because uh, there's a little thing in Galatians 2 that says, I have been crucified with Christ. There's no longer I who live, but Christ who lives within me. So, no, we march to the beat of Jesus' drum. We walk the path that has already been paved by him by his blood. We follow in his train. But that's not always how we live. We have plans in life. We have things we want to accomplish, things we want to do, goals, ambitions. And ambition, my brothers and sisters, man, that's like one of the worst things ever. Remember Solomon says it in Ecclesiastes, the only time things are accomplished is out of envy. You become a better athlete because you want to be better than someone else. You get the better grade in class because you want to top someone else. You get the promotion, not because you're the best worker, but because you want to be better than someone else. That's the old Adam. That's his way of doing it. He has his plan. And when things don't go according to plan, when you come in second place instead of first, when you get a B plus instead of an A, when you don't get the promotion but get fired, well, what's God up to? Why is, why is, he do, why is God hating me? Why is God doing this to me? It's not God. It's God saying what you had in mind isn't the best. You only see today. You and I aren't witches and warlocks. We can't see into the future. God sees all, past, present, and future. He knows what's best for you and for me. All the good plans he has for you have already been laid out, and we walk that path. So we always pray that we may walk on it and not be disappointed or doubt God's love and care for us whenever our plans are destroyed. Our plans go awry. The best laid plans of mice and men, right? Said the old Scottish poet. And that's all they are, is their laid plans that fail. But the plan of God the Father, which is your salvation, never fails. In Christ, it is absolute. It is finished. It is accomplished. You are his and he is yours. Your salvation is secure. That's the plan that matters. And that's the one that will never change. God bless you all.